23. And we'll pitch our tent tonight at verse 1. Psalm 23, verse 1. The Bible says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Our topic tonight is, The Lord is my shepherd. 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 Friends, I don't know about you. But to me, these are very comforting and sobering words. Because when we examine the role of the shepherd and consider the Lord as our shepherd, it is absolutely sobering and comforting. You see, the main role of the shepherd is to self-sacrificially guide and protect the sheep. It is the daily routine of the shepherd to lead his flock over rocky hills, through forests and wild ravines, to grassy nooks and crannies by the riverside. The shepherd watches them on the mountains through the lonely night, shielding them from robbers, caring tenderly for the sickly and feeble, and as a result of such a close relationship, the life of the shepherd becomes one with the sheep. A strong and tender attachment unites him to the object of his care. And however large the flock, the shepherd knows every single sheep. Lord is 
let us carefully examine the characters mentioned in this verse. The first character is the Lord or the shepherd. The second is the sheep. Let us look at the, sh the, the shepherd, the Lord. The Lord is the creator of heaven and earth. The giver and sustainer of life. The alpha and omega. The beginning and the ending. The Lord, the only one who is omnipotent, meaning he is all powerful. The Lord, the only one who is omniscient, meaning he is all knowing. The Lord, the only one who is omnipresent, meaning that he is everywhere present. The Lord, our redeemer, deliverer, way maker, and sustainer of life. It is this Lord. Who is the shepherd? You see, friends, it's the truth. It's not a myth. Just as how an earthly shepherd knows his sheep, so does the divine shepherd know his flock. Just as how the earthly shepherd knows his sheep, the divine shepherd knows his flock. Let me read you some text. Ezekiel 34 verse 31 says, He, my flock, the flock of my pastor, are men that I am your God, saith the Lord. Jesus says in Isaiah 43 verse 1, I have called thee by name, the art mine. He continues in Isaiah 49 verse 16, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Matthew 10 verse 3, he tells us, but the very hair, On your head are numbered. You know, there's not one person seated in this church tonight who can tell me the amount of hair on your head. Well, unless you don't have any. <laughs> God says the very hair on your head are numbered. You know, a few years ago, some scientists sat down and they decided to count the hairs on an average human head. They sat down and painstakingly counted the hair. They, they counted them one by one. At the end, they discovered that the average human head has 190,000 to 200,000 hairs. But God did not say that he counted the hair on your head. <laughs> he said that he numbered the hair on your head. So God, he knows where every strand is and he knows when you lose hair number 50, hair number 51, and when the spot starts to go, he knows that hair 120,000 is gone. The hair on your head is numbered. Even the hair on your head is numbered. The Bible continues to say, Continues to say in 2 Chronicles 16, verse 19, for the eyes of the Lord run to and through the entire earth. <laughs> Friends, God sees everything. And guess what? He sees, he sees just as good in the day as how he sees in the night. And what you believe? Mommy didn't see, and daddy didn't see, God sees it. When you can hide from the police or the pastor, God sees everything. The eyes of the Lord run throughout the entire earth. Job 14 verse 16 says, For the number rest of my steps. God knows, friends, every step that we take, where we go, and why we went there. He knows how many
and distress of everyone touches his heart. The cry for aid reaches his ear. He came to draw all men to himself. He bids them follow me. The Spirit moves upon our hearts to draw them to come to him. So now having looked at the shepherd, let us shift gears and examine the sheep. The sheep are us human beings. And you know it's amazing, right? Of all the creatures on earth, the sheep is one of the most timid and helpless. The sheep. That's exactly what we are. We are mortal, carnal, fearful, frail, frivolous, frightened, helpless, weak, feeble, powerless, insecure, insufficient, and wayward to sum it all up. We are nothing. If it was not for God's grace and mercy, friends, we would be anywhere. As human beings, we are nothing. It is only because of the sacrifice of our shepherd while we exist. Because it is in him that we live and move and have our being. Acts 17 verse 20 and the song says, I can't even walk. I can't even walk. I can't even walk without you holding my hand. So now after examining 
the shepherd is God. It becomes crystal clear to me the saddest reality known to mankind. The saddest reality known to mankind. Friends, the saddest reality known to mankind is not the fact of death. It is not crime or violence. It is not the reality of STDs and other diseases. It is not teenage pregnancy. It is not the increasing numbers of child molesters or spousal abuse. It is not the numerous accident fatalities. Listen to the preacher tonight. The saddest reality known to mankind is the fact that millions of children, the ultimate and the best shepherd, for some counterfeit shepherds. Mankind can be saved. 
In our time, we hear different ceremonies and systems have been devised by which men hope to receive justification and peace with God and thus find entrance into his fold. But friends of mine, listen to me tonight. The only door to heaven is Christ. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh but to the Father unless through me. Don't allow anyone to turn your eyes away from the face of the good shepherd. Don't let anyone rob you of what Jesus has done for you by both creation and redemption. Beloved, it is the gospel of the grace of God alone that can uplift your soul. Nothing else. The songwriter puts it beautifully when he says, all oh, that thrills my soul is Jesus. He is more than life to me. There's another group now that choose some dead gods as their shepherds. And millions are bound under these false religions. Some, like the Muslims, have Allah as their shepherd. The Buddhists, Buddha as their shepherd. And the rest of them says that Tilati is his shepherd. But friends of mine, I challenge you tonight that if we should visit the graves of these men, all that you'll find there are bones. But if we should go to the tomb of Jesus, we will find it empty. Oh, we serve a risen Savior who is in the world today, and we know that he's living. Whatever philosophers, men, women, boy, girl, may say, how do I know? I see his hands of mercy, and I hear his voice of cheer, and just the Jesus is there. The story is told of a man whose house was burning. House was engulfed with flames. But surprisingly, the man rushed inside the burning building. The people around watched in amazement. This man is crazy, they said to themselves. And fortunately, the man did not return. He was burned to death. Investigators, however, who soon arrived on the scene noticed that the roast corpse of a man was clutching a golden vase. The next day the headlines read, Man died trying to save his God. Beloved, I don't know about you, but in this day and age, I don't need a God who I need to save. I need a God who can save me. Choose the Lord as your shepherd. The only shepherd that can save mankind is Jesus Christ. And it puzzles me. I see it's strange how people could exchange God. How could you exchange God for anything? shepherd and I'm telling you the truth it feels good he says to me that I'm royalty because he has called me out of darkness into his marvelous light the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want when we make the Lord our shepherd we can rest assured that everything will be all right the best friend to have is Jesus because Elijah made the Lord his shepherd when he was alone in the wilderness the Lord sent to raven Jesus himself came down and took the 
don't possess houses or lands or fine clothes or jewelry. Finds sorrow and pain in this world world, my lot seems to be. But I am a Christ who in my life and that makes me happy. Christ is all. Christ is all. Christ is all. Yes, he's all the world to me. When I say he's all, I mean he's my artist because he made all things together lovely. He is my architect because Jesus is my chief cornerstone. He is my astrologer because he is the son of righteousness. He's my baker. Yes, he is the bread of life. He's my banker. Knowing him is my most valuable treasure. He's my builder because he's my sure foundation on Christ, the solid rock. I stand all the ground is sinking sand. He is my carpenter. He's my door to my new life. Jesus is my doctor because he's the great physician who is always there. The sympathizing Jesus. He's my educator. He's my great teacher. He's my flourish. Yet he's the rose of Sharon. He's my geologist because he's the rock of ages. That is class for me. Let me hide myself in thee. He's my horticulturist because he's the only true vine. He's my judge and his judgment is always just. He's my true rock. He's a faithful and true witness. He's my jeweler. Yes, he's my pearl of great price. He is my lawyer, my counselor, lawgiver, and true advocate. He is my sin in his news. And all he brings good tidings of great joy. He's the preacher's preacher. He's the word of God. I'm glad that I'm his servant because he is the good master. I'm his student because he is the incarnate truth. As a theologian, he's the author and finisher of my faith. I'm glad that I'm a worker in his vineyard because he gives me rest. He says, come unto me, all who are weary and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest as a sinner.
to the fold of God, friends. It's only through Christ. All these children from earliest times have found entrance. But guess what tonight? There is room at the cross for somebody else. Though millions have come, there is still room for one, for just one. There is room at the cross for somebody else tonight. So as we stand and we sing the song, I don't possess houses and land. 